what's going on Fontaine here VIP soundlab.com just wanted to go over some channel basics I was getting some questions on the master level group level as well as the sound level so I'm gonna help you guys out with that okay some things have changed but not too much and there's some subtle differences uh, in, you know when it comes to these parameters you know you have an input icon here output groove as well as macro these will also show up on the studio okay so again master level group level and a sound level now there's some subtle differences uh, between these different levels and we're gonna get into that so as you can see right here on the master level there is no input okay now if I jump over here on the output tab you immediately notice that you can set up your outputs you have an audio and you have a cue here so if you want to set up or route audio externally to uh, another DAW of your choice that's where you get that set up okay you have your level here your pan same with your cue you know if you want to route you know your cue to an external device you can do that also and you also have your levels and your pans and below that you notice that we have an automation lane I think when you turn it on it's like this so you might not see that that's what this little icon is for right here so if you want to you know set up your knobs and things of that nature to whether machine or an external device that's basically how you do that now you have the groove icon here where you can adjust your swing okay that swing is going to be affected over your entire project when it's on the master level you know you have the amount here you have the cycle here as well as the uh, the inverse switch here and of course you have a macro page here where you can set up your pages so if you need more pages you select them like this you can remove them you know if there's something specific that you had in mind to your workflow for example let's say if I wanted to affect group a and let's say I wanted to choose I don't know a specific sound and then I want to affect that sounds let's say that sounds groove okay and in the groove category let's say if I want to affect it to mount that shows up you know then you can go back you know if you want to you know maybe affect this input maybe we could do an audio a MIDI level let's say on a MIDI level and let's say the channel go here and select that channel that you want to affect that particular MIDI note on you know I don't want to I don't want to get you know too complex with it you know I, I just hope that makes sense because you can go back you know and, and affect different parameters so I'm not going to go too in depth with that because I don't want to you know get somebody confused on that but this is basically where you get your macro set up and you have a reset button right here okay let's go back to input so you see how those four icons is basically spread out across there they're basically copies on each uh, sound level but they're subtle little differences not much but subtle for example group okay input here's your MIDI input here's your source and here's your channels and of course right here is where you can set up your um, your root notes so this particular page is kind of like remember 1.8 we had what was it sound to MIDI notes and all that so now each sound has its own MIDI note so you can select the source or, or you know the channel over here and basically the channel part of it is where you want to set the sounds to respond to a specific uh, MIDI channel so you have 1 through 16 here okay then you have your output okay your output tab here you know basically the same thing you have audio and you have an aux so here's the destination so wherever you want to set up your destination to there it is you know again you know Pro Tools uh, Studio One Logic uh, you know whatever the case may be that's where you can get that set up here's your cue your level in your pan of course again you got <clears throat> you know this little automation lane down here you know where things can be can be learned to uh, as you see right there saying learning I'm not gonna do it but you know you can set up your you know your controls to external MIDI devices or you know things of that nature and just you know go crazy you know you have an aux here of course you have auxiliary one as well as uh, auxiliary two basically this pretty much works the same as it did uh, 1.8 so you shouldn't be too you know thrown off by that um, you know again here's your you know your outputs you know whether you're doing some effects chains or routing to an external MIDI device or things of that nature or another DAW you know that's where you get all that set up you know you have your level you have your uh, your pre and your post you know if you want to affect the order you know and then you have a secondary auxiliary here you know and then we jump over here you have a groove icon of course this is gonna affect the swing over the entire group of sounds you know you can set the amount here here's your cycles and here's your inverse switch so 
this all this should be pretty much um, familiar. And then, you know, macros, you know, we get back into the pages again, you know, so let's say over this tire group, we wanted to have a macro page, you know, set up for the groove or the input or whatever, whatever the case may be. You know, it, it's just preference. It's whatever it depends. I can't even really say it like that because it depends on your workflow. It's like, you know, whatever you're doing, maybe the level or the pan or, you know, I just can't, you know, put it in one specific order because it depends on what you're doing in your mix. So that's what those are for. So again, last but not least, let's jump on sound input. Of course, you have your um, your sources here. You know, if you want to set up your audio input, you have four stereo inputs. So, um, yeah, stereo inputs. Uh, I, w I wanted to say also mono, but I know it's not. Um, right now, I don't think you can do mono inputs. You know, so if you got like a guitar or um, I don't know, some some little external device you wanted to, you know, do a mono input. Right now, it it's just stereo. But you know, this is 2.0. There's updates coming, so you know, you never know. And you know, here's your gain. You know, and then here's your MIDI. <clears throat> so again, you can set up your MIDI channels here if you want to, you know, affect a specific sound. That's basically what that's for. And the source, I think that works about the same on the output too. Let's jump over to the output. Go back to audio. So there it is. You can set up your destination again. Um, Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, whatever. That's where you'll find your external devices. Or, you know, if you're going to do some internal routing, you know, the choice is yours. You know, there's your Q, there's your level, there's your pan, your audio mute, there's your aux. You know, again, <laughs> it don't sound like a broken record. Uh, you know, if you want to set up or route your, your audio, like whatever you want to do, here's your level, post in your pre, and here's your secondary auxiliary. You know, and that, that's one of the cool things about Machine. You could just do so much with it. And of course, here's your MIDI on the output tab. Again, if you want to set up a MIDI channel to a specific source, you also have a transpose um, button here, which is real, real dope because um, with that transpose button, you can basically transpose the output notes, you know, whether in machine or maybe if you're sequencing from another DAW. So that's dope. <laughs> So again, and then, you know, you have your groove and, you know, you can affect the groove on a specific sound. Here's your amount cycle invert. Like, let's say if this one was on 36 and then over here, this one was on, I don't know, put it like 14. You see they're completely different. You see that different swing amounts on each channel, you know, then you can double click it if you want to bring it back to the uh, default state. Yeah, man, that's pretty much how that works. You know, if you have any questions or concerns, hit me up. And, you know, your plugins can be found here on this plugin page here. You click this little plus icon here. And just as a refresher, you know, again, you know, your scenes, you know, you can add scenes here. These are your scene banks, you know, and you could duplicate scenes. Um, they don't necessarily have to be the same when they're duplicated. You can you can set it up so you could duplicate scenes without having the same um, pattern that you had on the first one. Um, if you're going to be moving scenes when you when you touch something like this and you move it, like this you make sure you want to be touching this gray box in here because you might overwrite something if you go like this for example i'm not going to do it but if i let go of that it's going to overwrite scene three so you want to be mindful of that you know and again just as another refresher let's go ahead and go down here same thing with your patterns you know again you have your pattern banks here you can add you know more banks here you know, you can select your banks like like this just by tapping on them. Again, you can move your patterns and things around like this. Again, if you're like this, you're going to overwrite something. So be mindful of that. You have a pre here button here. You know, if you want to, it works the same as it does over here when you're going through your sounds. If you want to touch on any particular sound and you want to hear it, that's what that button's for. And of course, right here is where you can set up your keynotes, your choke groups and things of that nature. You could do all of that from right here. Um yeah down here below don't forget that you have um the midi and the modulator area here you know so if you want to come in here and let's say for example on a sound i wanted to paint in let's say well swing probably wouldn't be good but, but maybe, let's say like the audio output the level you have this little let me bring this up a little bit you have this little uh paint icon here okay so if you want to draw it in or paint it in 
you can do it like that and look it comes in nice and neat and you can come in here and affect these little points you know individually with just your mouse and you know, if you want to come in here and say okay let me let me do some tweaking like this right here you know this is more quantized I guess I guess you could say I could turn the grid off like this and let's say take the paint on kind like this and get really 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 detailed like this here you know even even to the negative and go I can go to the negatives you know to a positive effect you know down to a negative you know if I want to get really really fine I can just get really crazy in here and just you know just really mash up some sounds like this here you know that's basically how you do that by turning off this little grid icon here speaking of which um the loops someone was asking me how they were looping okay you have a scene uh icon here like if i press this see how that it went past the um i don't have any audio set up right now because it's just for a tutorial but see how it's going past the first bar and it's looping on the second bar but if i go like this i can make it even finer or i can go like this and i can make it even finer you know you can loop anywhere in your um your scenes and patterns now so I just thought I'd, you know, make make you aware of that, because, for example, the bugged out thing about it, which was tripping me out. I was like, wow, because like when I was doing it like this, it would loop. OK, but then when I would move this one here. You see how I'm getting like different little. Points like let's say if I had a note right here and I really wanted to just go on crazy right here. OK, that note. It's gonna be just banging constantly, like um, dun, 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 while it's still playing and looping right here. So you can get some really crazy um patterns now, the way this is. And look at that, how it's affecting that up there. See that? Look, look how small it even look. It, it got so fine it even went black. You see that? It got like so fine it went black on me. You know. So look at that. That is crazy, man. But we'll get into that in uh later videos but again it's your boy fontaine vip soundlab.com be, be sure to come by the website you know sign up as a member we give away free monthly sounds and goodies and you know things of that nature so it's pretty much it see you guys in the next one peace need weapons for your lab get industry standard professional drum libraries free machine tutorials machine expansions and more, and more. keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com